There's like too much information to process with the with the actual uh, new patch. Let's see, let's see. Oh my god, start at 10 gold! Start at 10 gold! This is gonna be crazy. I can go Togwaggle and like heal power on one. Or is it is Toki a better play? Toki also sounds really good. Toki sounds really good. Beasts, Demons, Elementals, Pirates, and Quillbor. Okay. I think Toki can do some pretty big plays here. Reno as well. Yeah, Togwaggle doesn't even want to heal power on one. I wonder if I should just go Bacon and save her. Probably just heal power. Oh my god. So did start, right? Solid start. <clears throat> Thank you, Nibor, for the 27 months. Making it look easy. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh my god. Reef Explorer and Barnstormer. Oh. Discover a mean of a type you don't control. Sounds so good here. But isn't it better to go Barnstormer now and then level up in the Reef? It's such an early Barnstormer, I think I think you have to do it. Super early Barnstormer, next time you can go Tavern 4 and Reef. And then I wonder, do we stay a bit on 4 or do we just go to 5? As long as I'm winning fights, I shouldn't really care. I feel like we got so much temper from Igniter plus Spellhound. We can afford to do a play like this. Making it look easy. And yeah, now I don't have a power. Hmm. I don't have a target for the Balladist. Right? No pirates. I think it's just this guy. Just get blood gems. Do you ever sell one to hero power? I don't like doing that. Yeah, this new minion seems pretty good. K -k -k -combo! Okay. Opponent is very strong. Fifty fifty. Lost the flip. Not sure if I should go to 5 and heal power for a 6. Oh my god! OFC! Gast Coil and Fell Stoneport. That's the stabilization crew. What turn is it? Turn 4. Turn 4, I can. Turn 5, I can buy Coil or Stoneport. I'm also like the first one in the lobby to go to 5. Everybody else is cheating on Tavern 4. So we can try to run away with the lobby. Obviously, we're gonna take some damage here. Can't avoid that. I think we're taking the 15 justifiably so. I know that I'm not gonna die if I take 15 again. But I'm just not gonna take 15 again. It's easy. Double Stomper. I don't think you want to play Pirates. What are the 
Oh my god, I want this guy. Triple selling is greedy, but maybe greedy is correct. Can I just go Quailer first? I can, right? Oh my god. Guys, it's turn 5. What board can my opponents have this early? No shot that we die here, right? No shot. Trumpeteer setup is like really dangerous. But I don't think it's more dangerous than what I'm doing here. Nessun, I think I just want to make a good board and then I'm thinking about even going to 6. Mithrax was interesting, but I think we can do better. Like this. This seems like way too good. Turn 6, by the way. Turn 6, by the way. Cut Quillboard for the Raptor, right? I don't even know if I can buy another Rattler. Um... This guy summons a lot of minions. But it needs board space to summon them. And he doesn't have the board space. I should turn off the Firestone overlay. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's working right now, so let's turn it off. I'm still keeping it for the session recap. Actually, wait, session recap is not even working. Okay, I'll just turn it off because uh, it doesn't work on this patch. Because the patch is not is out yet, obviously. Brain. Okay. Otosagi is growing. By the way, you don't need to buy that mech guy because Quailer can give you the mech. Quailer gives you the mech itself. Yeah, somebody's not happy. <laughs> I mean, this is not your average game, okay? Um, Let's try to hit a triple. We are in the big I think it's Raptor out and you go to six. Now my problem is that I have like too many duplicates and I need some triples. I need some triples in the house. Nobody else is playing beast. Okay, no. Solag is playing beast. Hmm. It's interesting because in the beginning I was I, I picked the barnstormer, thinking that I would go elementals. And I wonder, maybe I should have picked the reefer and just ignore the barnstormer. Ah, but if I would somehow end up as elementals, the barnstormer would have definitely kick-started my strategy. That cleave ruined me. Holy moly. But I don't think one cleave is enough to beat me. I'm too big. We got a kill on Reno, that's huge. Yeah, Noxis, thank you for the six months.
טריפל קוילר, טריפל אוקטוסארי. Can I get some OFCs in chat? Also we have the free flying feather main. We definitely want the feather main. You heard the bartender, what a display of skill. Do I pick New Zao? Yes. I like uttering the feather main and going for New Zao later. For justice. Justice. Don't you want to play with five minions? Not really. I need some more beasts now. Hopefully I'll be strong enough. Opponent has an interesting comp. Summoning this beast was nice. So, like from what the developers were saying, you can summon this beast. The same way you're summoning um, from uh, the Murloc. Ah, uh, I'm getting kind of bullied here. You don't even have space to be born. I hope Octosagi carries this. I mean, all I want is to not die. If I don't die, I'm definitely gonna build a very powerful board. Okay, we managed to steal a tie. We have a panel of unbiased judges from throughout Azeroth. Okay. Okay. Do we want Mama Bear? Not really, no. Do we want Town Giver? Um, I guess. Baby Crush can be good for a while. I like the baby crush. We're trying to find another free flying feather main. And then I don't know what else we need. This lobby is gonna be interesting. I'm a little bit afraid of the other beast player. Because I feel like Banana Slama Beasts might be able to beat what I'm doing here. Like, yes, what I was doing here is like unbeatable, like super early. But it depends on how long this game is gonna go. So far, every player got nine turns of spending 10 gold. That's kind of crazy. Library lad with the 19 months. Thank you, lad. The me that got summoned didn't attack. Did you see that? Interesting. At least we are farming the Octosari. Octosari is getting really large. JJ died as well. We're down to top 4. Another Quailag is pretty good. I like it way more than the Baby Crush. I don't like buying the Naga just for a random beast. I don't think it's worth it. Okay, we got New Zao presented to us. But do I want it? Um, it's kind of small. Yeah, I don't think Nuzawa is good for this build. You want minions that summon minions. Basically, Coiler. Another Feather main is also nice. I could put the Coiler in the back. It depends what you're trying to do with it. 
Also, I really wanted people to fail stomp, but we really don't have board space to justify other things. Do you think all the anomalies are going to speed up the game? Definitely not. But this is one of the anomalies that is going to speed up the game a ton. We previously played with a pretty slow anomaly in the other game. Yeah, if you want to scale the Octosari, you still want a position like this. But I think I want to have a higher chance to win the total fight. So coil like a little bit more in the back seems better. What does the golden 3-star beast do? Probably the same effect, but bigger stats. I would assume. Roy. Well, poor Zorgo got deleted. I'm not sure gonna, if, if it's going to be the same against the Bana Slamma player. But let's see. Oh, the Bana Slamma player died. Tess is also playing a beast. Yes. Yeah, maybe Crush is not good here. I should just get another Octosari, I think. Legit. Mm, do I want another Octosari? I don't even know if I want another Octosari. Krivats, thank you for the seven months. Yeah, maybe Zap is actually the play. Because you want... A minion that makes space for other minions. Another Quailer, sure. I'm gonna go for like go as many golden quails as I can. And now the problem is this is useless, but I don't know if I should cut this and play the zap. Uh, sorry, play the zap, play the quailer. I could also double zap it. I could also double zap it. Let me think. Double zapping it is a little bit too much. But you could go quailer. Zap into Coiler. I really don't think we need to keep this just because it's a Taunt. Whatever minion dies, it dies. We're not getting that much value, are we? I'm definitely buying the Zap. Just not sure if I should play the Zap or if I should play the Coiler. Tripling the Fell Stomper would be the best because I could do both. And I like Octosari earlier. Coiler is in the back with a Stomper. Hmm. Opponent is still Tavern 5, so... Yeah, let's just go double zap. Let's just go double zap. I don't know. I just went with my gut. I don't know what Twishot wants me to do. I feel like it's so difficult to make a play without knowing what your opponent uh, is doing. Zap is not the best here. But I'm not sure if Koyla would be that much better. Yeah, Zap is just kind of dead. But we are still very strong. We are still very strong. We need to win and kill because otherwise we're feeding our opponent two fell stompers. And I think we try to avoid that if possible. Oh no! Actually, it's not that bad. I was being too dramatic. Six, 12, 18, 19. Not lethal, and now opponent is gonna speed from our lineup. Which creates a very weird situation. Incredible athleticism on display tonight! They're going for Do I even want to triple this? If you triple it, you can get two more. But I'm not sure if that helps. Town guy? I think town guy is good. And I think Cinderai is good. Yeah, Cinderai is alright. What? 
Another Goku Tosagi? Another Koilag? Let me think. Let's roll. Back house tonight. Be sure to put on a good show. Let's go like this. This is the fighter to watch out for, folks. Okay. His zap is a lot better than mine. That's okay. I wouldn't have board space anyways. My only advantage is that I have the big Octosari. Yeah, the big Octosari is like one of my only advantages. But the question is if it's enough. Golden Quailer was really good, but it got sniped. Too much craziness happening here. Are we actually going to lose this? Okay. Wait, how was that lead though? Wasn't it like 13 damage? Wasn't it like 6 plus 5 plus 1 plus 1? 